catalog. Um, the most useful uh, projects, you know, that might be useful to hear you here in Browning, and, and what can we learn the most from? So I'm going to start off with the solar hot air uh, project, and you guys have this, each one of you has this in your folder, and it, it gives you a little bit of a breakdown of what we're doing. For the solar hot air project, literally, we want to use the sun to heat air, to heat a house, or your garage, or your <coughs> barn, or whatever it is that you want to put heat to. But playing a little bit and experimenting with is, how about uh, colored glass, dark glass? Would that work the same as pop cans as far as absorbing heat? Probably would. Don't know. We haven't really experimented yeah, with it. For water or for air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's a possibility. We built one um, for spontaneous com construction at Home Resources. They recycle building materials. Matter is holding that heat. What, what's, um, what, there's three different, well, several different phases of matter, but the phase of matter is holding that heat in that turtle shell or in that log. What kind of matter? It, it, it's solid, right? It, yep. It's solid stone, it's solid shell, it's solid wood. How about the uh, the second project? So be proud of who you are. It's like, you know, usually when I introduce myself, I say, Okay, it's to the town of Mokoye Pita. Hello, my name is Wolf Eagle. My dad is a kitty keeper, a very chicken cunning, Tony fish. My grandpa is a me, Mokoye Sika. Wolf Eagle, not Wolf Eagle, but fish wolf girl. Mokoye Pita is his father. Proud of who you are. He'll speak out. He'll stand tall. Be strong. But, uh, there is one ice breaker that, you know, I always show, you know, we, we start with the first name, I mean, first letter of our name, so my, my first name is, is Brandon Fish, so I'll say, uh, say B, B for beautiful, and we'll go on to the next person. What is your name? Jayden.
Directions. Four seasons. You have four poles on this side. Four poles on this side. Two poles there, two poles there, and that's four. And you have the one. Great set, I'll hold up the lodge. And why, why do we work in that system? How do we figure that out? A lot of times they work with uh, resistance. Resistance and pull. These four right here, they're gonna go on this side and lay in there like fingers. The same thing with this side, so it should go like this. Same thing with this side. You have your two right there, right in the middle. And you have your two back here. Right here, in that middle one where your lodge is, that's what locked everything in. As long as you have this pole right here, And you have that rope, it would be tied over here somewhere. But then we got line it. All along here we have line it. Who knows what that does? Draft the smoke. Yes, to draft the smoke. How, how, do we, how do we keep our heat in our heat piece? Sweet. And that's where you get your sustainable energy. Another way that we uh, pulled it down, we either open this, and we pull it down on this area, or we open this end. And you put willows, maybe you can put uh, uh, aspen there, and you pour water on it. And that would keep you cool. So come all the way through here. And then, uh, Oh, so about. oh, you also we, we use uh now we use canvas. You know, it doesn't keep as much heat as in when we use buffalo. Yeah. You know the difference between canvas and buffalo? It's thicker. Yeah. Really thick. Just imagine if we had a buffalo seat here. How big do you think it would be? Is it gonna be this tall? No. Heck no! <laughs> you imagine carrying a buffalo teepee this big? <laughs> That's why in the dog days you see those teepee rings, they'd be small. Because the woman had to carry it. Just imagine a woman being 
really stout. They take care of the children. I took care of the lodge. Whatever they said, went. And the traditionally as black feet, women were right up there with the men. Remember that. We treated them equal. So our chief. Yeah, hey, good job, Brandon. Excellent, man. Alright, let's take it off now. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. You ready? Let's go stack those poles back where they belong. He's not kidding. <laughs> okay. In front? Yeah. Hey, well, tell me about that vortex again with the liner. Oh, with the liner? Yeah. You have this up, you close your flap, and you know, it equate, create a vortex just with a little bit of wind we had. You know, all your heat would come down here. But it also drops down in the back. Sweet. So just imagine that. Well, just imagine a couple of arrows going up and it could kind of drop back down. Sweet. Going up, drop back down. Very cool. Where was the fight? Hey, Brandon. Chris. The, the, the medicine you were talking about, like don't sw don't step over the poles. What is that? Because maybe people would step over the pole and maybe break them or something, or what? Uh. Well, you guys need to be huh? It wouldn't be uh, that they're broken, but it's just uh, uh, like a, what would you call it? Uh, protocol. Yeah, like a protocol. It's like an etiquette, yeah. Cultural protocol. But sometimes, you step over that pole, you might be shitting your pants the next day. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. You know, that kind of thing, because uh -huh. the spiritual maybe. and the yeah. spiritual aspect of it, you got to realize that we have these energies around us. <laughs> Yeah. And those energies yeah, will punish you if you don't listen. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah.